So today I'm going to teach you how to sew and use your sewing singer machine. This is a singer standard heavy duty. This is like your most go-to kind of sewing machine. It's going to last you forever. You're going to want something sturdy, something for your house. I would recommend this. I did get this online on the singer website because there was only black on there and I really wanted the black one because I've had a white before. Anyways, I'm going to get to sewing. This right here is the presser foot that it's going to come with. You're going to plug this baby in. Once you do that, it has a cord that also connects onto your, to your sewing machine. Basically, this presser foot is what's going to control your sewing machine and you're going to press it and it's going to go like this and then your machine is going to start running. Once you have plugged in the power cord, you're going to turn this baby on. That's a switch right there. So, beginning sewing 101. This sewing machine here, you're going to have two places to put in your thread. So you could either put it here or you could also put it right here. So for the sake of the video, I'm going to put it right there. So here's going to be your tension. Here's your needle position. You can move these babies around. Tension is going to help you with your threading down there. I will teach you that in a sec. And your width, which is basically the stitch length that you are going to be threading. I'm going to teach you how to fill in this bobbin right here. This is the bobbin case down here below. And you're going to do that with this. This is essential. So we're going to start here. We're going to pass it through this loop right here, just within those discs. Grab your bobbin. There's usually holes within it. I like to thread the thread through and then place it right here. That is your bobbin holder so that you can wind it. So you're going to slide it to the right and it's going to lock in. I like to hold this thread right here and with that presser foot, you are going to... So that is instantly going to fill in your bobbin right here. When you want to take it out, you just slide it to the left, release, and cut your thread. Here's your bobbin case. You're going to want to release right here. There's like a little arrow pointing down. Take and place your bobbin inside. Once you got that, you're going to thread your bobbin. You're going to pull it through this lever right here. You're gonna slide it down through this first loop. Then you're gonna go up here. You're gonna get this lever that's right here and you're gonna make sure that your thread passes through this. Very key and you're gonna drag it back down. There you're gonna thread your needle, front to back. Threaded there, you are going to wanna hold your thread like this. Thread right here, you have a wheel that you can steer. And this this threading right here is going to pick up this thread down here, which is going to end up sewing. And right here, you're going to see that it's going to pass through. You can use your finger to pull that underneath. And now, once you have those two threads right here, you are ready. You're going to put your case back on. You're going to lock that baby in so you could sew, and now you are ready to sew. So I'm just going to cut a little slab so I can show you exactly how to use it. This is your stitch length. You're going to want to have that at around a 2.5. So it's going to be in between that 3 and in between that 2. And then this is going to tell you whether you want a straight stitch, zigzag, buttonhole, different kind of stitching. I'm going to do a straight... Uh, I'm going to do a straight... I'm going to do a straight stitch. So I'm going to leave it right there. It's already positioned, but these move. My width is already set to three. That's like a normal one. Needle positioning is going to be in the middle and the tension is going to be around four. You can always play with it. It could always be three. It could always be five. Depends really what you're sewing. I found what works for me is a four. We're going to go with the four. See how we start sewing. Remember that presser foot is down there. Right in back of here. This is going to put down your foot. It's like a little lever, you gotta put it up and down once you're using it or not. You're gonna put it down if you're gonna use it, so you're gonna pop that baby down like that. It's gonna just start sewing a straight line. You're gonna go, we're gonna do a straight stitch. Once you're done, you're gonna always wanna have this lever up right here. here remember the back presser foot, you're gonna lift it, pull out, and right here on the machine, you got a usual like little cutter. 
So I just cut the thread off and there you go. And there you have your little straight switch. If you want to do a zigzag style, you are going to want to switch it to your zigzag, which is right there. It's really easy to use, guys. You're going to do this. You're going to put it down here and you are going to... So with the zigzag, the needle moves side to side making a zigzag off. Again, put that foot up, make sure your lever is up, and, and this is your zigzag stitch. One last thing that I did want to teach you guys, I'm going to put that stitch back on straight, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to put that foot down. When I am sewing, and I want to secure that last stitch, there's a button right here on my machine that says reverse. This is going to help me secure that stitch back and forth. I like done with a stitch, that's exactly the button that I like to press just to secure everything and it's perfect. If you need me to go more in depth with something, you just let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is just the beginning of this sewing series, parte uno.